For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to At Wars Outdoors with me, Mike. Send you guys a bit of a review video on a product from Bango. So with me here today, I have the new Sentinel Pro Shield inflatable windbreak. So to a certain extent, they are kind of new, but what kind of Bango have really done is took and took their kind of best selling model, which was the uh, the normal three panel version. And they've actually kind of extended the range and turned it into their new Pro Shield uh, kind of material. So it seems it's a bit more thicker, a bit more heavier duty. Again, feels more premium and matches their kind of awning range they've really bought out for the 22 season. In addition to the free panel, which they've kind of very much up spec and in many ways almost increased a little bit in terms of its overall height, they've introduced a five panel version, which again has really nice amount of flexibility. So if we look at say the free panel version, the span we've kind of got, you can kind of start it around about sort of kind of almost sort of 260 ish and go up to about 330 as we see it here and again I think it really suits kind of the materials and the way it looks and I think again the, the cut of the material and the way it looks in the grey I think it's very very smart. The joys of it in, in terms of both scenarios is they pump up for a single inflation point but they always have two single inflation points, one at either end. So again, the joy of this means when you come to pack it away and deflate it, it's very easy to do. And you can see that from our own at walls pitching and packing videos that we've done. You know, it's the joys of not having to worry about a physical pole windbreak. It's an absolute godsend in comparison to putting up a pole windbreak. And I'm sure anyone who's, can, who's put a pole windbreak up can testament to that. So for the new kind of 22 style, I really quite think it's sharp. We've got a slightly taller height, so you've got more protection, a really nice big PVC window panel throughout it. And there's a little bit of play, like I said, throughout the whole model. You've got guide points that you put externally. And because you've got this kind of pre-shaped part, there's no real need for internal guide points, which is a big bonus. So you mean you can maximize your area inside of there. The five panel, as we can see here, necessarily, the panels are a little bit smaller, but you've got a bit more of a range. Now, again, with the flexibility of this, you can either have it around about a 330 width, so same kind of style of this, or you can spread it out and you can take it up to really about four and a half meters, so it's quite a wide span. Uh, maybe it does require some additional guide points, there's a little bit more play in it, but I think four and a half meters for me is probably where I'd feel comfortable. So, you know, it's a quite a nice op option to go for it. So, but you can see if we kind of go at the back here, what you find is as you kind of go wider, the span of it actually itself comes in shorter. So you lose a little bit of the depth when you overall gain the width. And the manipulation of kind of the windbreak works really well. And like I said, just having some external guiding points to tension out. You always have a little bit of a pre-shape bowing into it, but no more, oh, there goes the tree, uh, than you would probably come to expect with it anyway. Whoa. Let's chuck that down there. So you can obviously choose whether you want to have it enclose the front of the awning and doesn't necessarily, it's not just restricted to kind of caravan awnings, you can use it for camper van awnings or tents and it, that's one of the joys of it, it's kind of a neutral colour and it will kind of mix and match in with anything and still look really quite nice. So what I'm going to do now is kind of pick the camera up and have a little bit more of a more up close personal look into the Airbeam Sentinel Windbreak. So we'll start kind of with the well-known free. It's a decent sort of height and the way it kind of looks. Again, it helps to really create a great enclosure in the front of the actual awning itself. Fits really low to the ground. And one thing that's always been one of the big benefits of it is the fact that you've got a beam running down the inside. So if dogs and that sort of stuff can't easily escape and they've got a hell of a job to do so. Valves located on the either side, so again, like I said, about inflation and deflation point of view, that's where you'd go for it, and it's even got a little kind of baffle to kind of keep it out of sight and out of mind. A, a zip is located in the actual barrier as well, so if you need to replace a tube, you can quite happily do so. And it's a single welded tube, so it goes up as one, as stated. As we kind of, I'll say it's a great sort of proof of view of the matching materials. As we kind of come round and look more towards kind of the five, the same kind of idea, but 
I think you can also, the orange gyros, I think just gives it a little bit more touch of a colour. But you can have it on the side of actually the kind of the model itself and create that enclosure off the side rather than going any further out from the caravan itself. But again, it's the same kind of premise with kind of the beams located all along the bottom and keeps it really nice and secure. And again, you can use this purely as kind of living space rather than having more any guide points coming physically in. And you've got, again, valve points on both sides so when you come to fold it in half that works really really well but great little concepts something again i think in person looks really nice and the slightly taller height for me i think is a bit more of a benefit just that way when you've got uh, a little bit more extra protection when you've got sort of um chairs give you a bit more an idea when you're sort of sitting behind here with your furniture the window level is about perfect for where you want it to be you've got more roof on the top as well so it's a great way of almost creating a little sun canopy over the top and you've got a perfect kind of enclosure for cooking or whatever you want to do with it really so i think it's a really smart concept i think the update with the fabric and the feel of it you know it's thicker than pretty much most things on the market so it's definitely again kind of uses a little bit more class than maybe than other models that you can get and are available so for more information, by always check the link below this video. It'll take you straight through to our website. We've got more information on sort of the overall floor dimensions, pack sizes, floor uh, pack weights, individual features, as well as the pitching video that I've also mentioned as well. So uh, plenty to look at there. But by all means, let us know what you think of the product as well, whether you think it's a good addition adding a, a five, and if you prefer the material over its predecessor. It's always great to hear from you guys. But uh, So that's our little video review on the brand new Van Gogh Sentinel Pro Shield Airbeam Windbreak.